Hello, 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 and welcome replay viewers. Uh, please know that you can still share and heart away. Um, so I just was showing you the Hello Party World. This is the view from my uh, office. So uh, I'll just switch you back to the computer here. So this is who I am. Let me just and see how we're doing. So hello, hello everybody. I'm Una Doyle. I'm a business development coach for creatives and my business is Creative Flow. So um, hi Party World, hi Azam. We've got some brilliant content for you tonight. Um, I just really want to make sure that people get to be as productive as possible. Hi Film Dude, please everybody swipe right um, and share this out on Twitter, um, share it out on Periscope, on Facebook, whatever it is that, that you're using. Um, we'd, uh, we'd like to, um, to, you know, for you to get as many people as possible into this because time is so, so precious. Um, and in fact, you know, anyone who is wealthy values their time much more than they do money. And so one of the key things to becoming more successful and to achieving what you want, whether that's related to money or, or other ambitions that you have in life, is about being more productive around your time. Now, um, as, a, as a creative myself, I, I'm an actor, um, as well as being a business development coach. And, you know, I understand what it's like in terms of really loving freedom. And I, I did a quick scope earlier on today, just really talking about, well, which is more important to you, freedom or structure? And um, it, definitely changing my focus away from freedom and more towards structure actually has freed me up to be more creative, to, to allow me to have the time to pursue my creative um, uh, pursuits as well. So I just really wanted to kind of, you know, uh, get that discussion out there and uh, just getting you really thinking about this as well. Okay, so I'm just going to sw swap the screen around because, um, hello Elizabeth. So welcome, welcome. Uh, please do swipe right and share. I'm just about to get stuck into the content. So we want as many people to get this as, as possible. And thank you for the hearts, everybody. Hello, Perry Girls. For those of you that don't know, Perry Girls is a fantastic um, a fantastic group um, on Facebook. You can go to perrygirls.com. There's also Perry Dudes as well for the guys out there. Just a lovely supportive community. So uh, thank you very much for joining me here today. And thank, uh, thank you for the others who are inviting people and who've joined. Um, uh, work with Arena. Hi, Arena. Uh, Gracefield Mom, Genesis. You see, fantastic. Perry Girls share out and, and look what happens. So fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Do join Perry Girls. Um, so, yes, yeah, so these are my. my um, uh, my contents and the kind of thing, uh, my contact details and the kind of things that you can find out about me. But what I want to show you here today is, uh, is something that I've been working on, which is really around uh, some ways that you can structure your time. OK, so one of the things that I use with my clients is this tool called Wealth Dynamics. And so Wealth Dynamics is a personality profiling tool. Um, and you can see here that it's kind of made up of these different energies. So we have the dynamo at the top. It's all about creating things. And the right hand side, we've got blaze. These are the extroverted people. So it's all about people, you know, focus on, on, on the teams and, and on bringing in new clients and marketing and things. And the tempo at the bottom, these are the really grounded people. And they're fantastic as admin and customer service and research and, you know, buying and selling things at the right price. Very good at timing and, and pricing. Um, and then on the left hand side, we have the steel energy people. And so they are uh, the people who are more introverted and more detail focused. OK, so thank you for those people who I've seen just joining. Please do swipe right um, and invite the people from your social networks. Um, you know, everybody making sure they're making the most of the time is just so, so important because time is the most precious thing that we have. So. So, yeah, so this this profiling tool really allows people to understand you know, um, what are the best strategies that they could be using? Um, it helps with decision making, uh, helps them to structure the team. And then you can also use your profile to understand how to structure your time uh, in the best possible way. But even for those of you who don't know your profile and, and you don't want to do that, I just wanted to get you thinking about how the different tasks that you do fall into these different energies. OK, so, um, you know, I, I just think that this is so, so important. It's like, um, hi, I just wanted to come back for a moment. Um, so because the thing is, if you if you think about all the different tasks that you have and if you're switching from one task to another 
and they are made up of different energy. So maybe you've got one thing which is very creative and very innovative and is about you coming up with new ideas and big picture thinking. And then you've got something else to do, which is much more detailed and it's more process orientated, more say administrative or kind of, you know, kind of just looking after your clients and that. They are like two completely opposite energies and, and to switch from one task or activity to another when, when they're in those different energies, it's like going from boiling water down to ice and then back up to boiling water. So, you know, it's, it's, it's really important for your productivity that you group things together. So you may have heard of time blocking. OK, so some people will talk about that in terms of, you know, how to uh, structure your diary. So to, you know, to do things in blocks. So what they don't talk about is how to um, group things. Thank you. Uh, yes, I think it's sensible, too. But it's not something people talk about. Um, it's, it's actually grouping things of similar energies together. Now, the other thing is, is that it's really easy to get caught up in the things that you love doing. Doing. And, you know, particularly if you're a small business owner, there's probably some things you maybe don't love doing so much, but maybe you have to do them for now. Maybe you can't afford yet to outsource them. If you can, please do that. Delegation is just such a wonderful thing. Um, and, you know, it's it's that thing of being able to really focus in on what's most important to you in your business. But, you know, not you need to spend time in all of these energies. OK, you can't just spend time in the energy that you enjoy the most because the other parts of your business then aren't being looked after. OK, so it's important that you spend some time, even if it's only half an hour a week on these other things. So if you actually put in place a framework where and I say a framework because, you know, particularly for those of us who, who are more creatively minded and who like to have a lot of variety, we don't want to be like, OK, every Monday at 10 past 10, I do this thing. But what you can do is you can have a framework that's like, OK, so every Monday morning I do tempo type things. And within that, there's a choice of things that I'm going to be focusing on. Um, and so if you do that across your week where you have blocks of ideally half days, whole days, but, a, you know, worst case scenario, at least kind of a chunk of an hour or so, um, then this is absolutely going to transform your productivity. Now, I just want to show you actually um, a testimonial from uh, clients who did this. And uh, you can see here after just two sessions, uh, these strategies made a massive impact on me and my business and freed up a whole two days a week for me to concentrate on growing my business how much two days a week is it's actually 96 days a year and that's allowing for taking four weeks off for vacation for holidays okay 96 days now i'm not saying that everybody who does this is going to get an extra two days a week but imagine if you even got a half a day a week what difference could that make to your business what would you do if you had an extra half a day a week that's like two two whole days a month okay that's 24 days uh, a year. So that's like an extra, that's over a month, really, if you look at working days. So, you know, if you had an extra month to work on growing your business, what would you be able to achieve? OK, so would you write a book? Would you use a new lead generation strategy? Would you spend more time in front of your customers or maybe surveying them to find out what they want? Um, would you spend more time speaking, more time periscoping? <laughs> So, you know, I, I don't know, like, let me know what is it that you would do if you had that extra time. So, you know, it's it's really um, it's really important that you put some structure into your business in order to free you up to do more of what it is that you really love um, and to actually allow you to be more creative. OK, because when you have that structure in place, then it means that, you know, things are being taken care of. Like I remember there's a guy um, who I worked with who runs a studio, a sound studio, and uh, he, he's a musician. He's very creative, um, creator profile, in fact. And, um, you know, he said that after, after kind of using these kinds of principles, then it made a massive difference because he was able to totally immerse himself in his creative work because he wasn't worrying about, you know, little things that needed to be done. So um, I'm just going to kind of quickly flick on for a moment the, the some of the tasks and activities that come under these different energies. OK, um, so just one moment.
back here. Okay, so let's have a look. So dynamo energy. So these are some of the tasks and activities that you might do in that time. So, you know, big picture thinking, basically, the strategy, the design, the development, the problem solving. Um, now, now, creative people can be very good at creating chaos, but they're also very good at dealing with it and getting you out of it. So they, they could do that too. Um, you know, uh, creating proposals and presentations, brainstorming. So all of those kinds of things are things that the dynamo, that's what you want to be doing in that dynamo time. But in the blaze time, it's all about people. So some of it might be around your team, um, around managing your teams and kind of one-to-ones networking. Okay, so blaze people tend to be really good at networking. Um, sometimes speaking, it varies depending on which profile they are. Some like to speak, others like to kind of, you know, be more listeners and, and to kind of work one-to-one -one or, or in small groups. So that will depend on, on um, you know, your profile. Um, things like joint venture partnerships, hosting events, you know, communication and engagement, whether that's on social media or whether that's with stakeholders. That's the kind of thing you're going to be doing with that time. Uh, tempo energy. So this is the grounded, administrative, getting everything done on time type of stuff. So this is where you got research and, and the bookkeeping and, um, you know, like managing clients. OK, so that account management, um, any kind of administration, project planning. And I'm talking here not about the big picture strategy behind a project, but the, the resources that are used and what needs to be done when. Um, and then you've got things like, um, you know, supporting the team. Tempo people are really good at spotting, you know, is somebody uncomfortable? Is there something going on that, you know, is affecting their performance and spotting those things and bringing them to the attention of the right people? Tempo people can make fantastic followers. They also can make very good leaders as well. Um, negotiation, buying and selling. Like I know some people who do um, uh, online sales, you know, that they buy and they sell. They have these online businesses um, and they're often tempo people. They, they tend to be very good at retail as well. So this is the kind of thing you're going to do in that tempo time. And then steel time, this is the, the very an analytical time. So and even if you're somebody who's a very head in the clouds, creative person or a very extroverted person who just wants to be out in front of with people all the time, it is important to have some measures in your business. So reviewing those measures, you know, even if they're just simple things like, um, you know, tracking what you're doing on social media, tracking, you know, making sure you've got a customer database and, and that you're, you're looking at, well, you know, how many people have I had meetings with and what were the outcomes of that? So what's my conversion rate um, of prospects to, to customers? Um, or if you're a filmmaker and you're looking to build an audience, then it's looking at well, what are the kind of more detailed and analytical things that I can do to make sure Sure I'm getting in front of the right people. Actually, one thing I haven't put on there, and I must change that, is things like online advertising and SEO. Um, you know, that's very much steel time because it's very detailed and system orienta uh, orientated. So you can see here things like um, you know data collection and analysis. Um, looking after the cash flow, proofreading, editing, you know, whether that's uh, written work or whether it's, um, you know, editing of videos or films, uh, anything to do with risk, you know, still people are very risk averse. So, so you've got lots of ideas there then of the different things that you can do. Um, and whilst I talked about the spirit energy, um, and if I just flick back up to, to the spirit energy, so you can see this is really all about contribution and growth. Uh, hello, new joiners as well. Um, I'm just switching back. Um, so for those who just joined, by the way, I'm Una Doyle. I'm a business development coach and uh, I'm also an actor. So I love working with other creatives as well. And we're talking here about how you can structure your time to really free up a lot of extra time. So um, uh, please do watch the replay, but hang on for this bit and then you can um, go back and watch the beginning. It will make more sense. Um, so, yeah, so this spirit energy at the end is, is really about, you know, your growth. It's about how you grow, how you get to contribute contribute and so um, like one of the things I've started doing and th this is a big big tip by the way is to spend uh, some specific time every morning focusing on yourself and your own growth so spend some time in silence or meditation it, you get some exercise you can do the two at the same time and go for a walk um, it might be you know you do a bit of reading um, or watch some videos that you're learning something um, so the, you know, it, it's, there's lots of things that you can do that are going to really help you to be centered 
and to be calm and to be much more focused journaling okay that's another one that you can do another kind of spirit kind of thing to do because you, you want to be um really clear you want to make sure that anything that's kind of been going on you know like overnight and um, that you're kind of getting it down on paper whether it's ideas or maybe it's some concerns you have so um and, and writing things out can be a really great way to um, to really identify what's going on for you and gratitude, okay, like writing a list of the things you're grateful for. Even if you're having the worst day, just stop and think about what is it that you have to be grateful for. Uh, and I, you know, you woke up, okay, <laughs> you've got at least one thing to be grateful for. And I'm sure when you start looking, you're going to see more and more things. And it might seem a bit odd to be talking about, well, how does that help me to have more time? But actually, it really does because when you're clear and focused, you're thinking better, you're making better decisions. And also, you know, if you're journaling and meditating and things, you're connecting to who you really are. It helps you to be more congruent in everything that you're doing. Um, and it will help you to have the clarity of mind to spot and take advantage of opportunities that could be right in front of you. It's amazing the amount of times when I work with clients and they have resources that they're just not utilizing properly at all. So whether it's, you know, tools that they're paying for and they're not using or connections that they've never thought of approaching or all sorts of things, you know, there's so many different ways that you can actually really maximize and get more from your resources, whether it's your time or the other things that you have around you. Okay, so I'm going to call it up there and um, thank you those who've just joined. Please go back and watch the replay. This has been a very content packed scope um, and I trust that you've really got something from it. Um, please do tweet at me if you swipe right, uh, follow me if you haven't followed me already, Creative Flow TV. I'm the same on Twitter. So I would love to um, hear what you've thought of this scope. Um, please feel free to share the replay. I want to get this out to as many people as possible. Um, and for those of you who would like to uh, know my contact details, let me just switch back to that and uh, I will cope off with that. So there we are. So Creative Flow TV, you can see the website creativeflow.tv. Um, and there's some things there that I talk about on the scopes. Um, and I'm just getting back into scoping again. I've been changing things around behind the scenes. Um, including my new branding, so that's my lovely new logo, which I'm very proud of. Um, and in fact, I am going to do um, a scope or a blog or something with the designer of that to talk through, um, you know, the whole process that we went through and, and where that came from. So that's going to be an interesting one. I think it'll give some great lessons uh, around branding for people as well. Okay, so have a great morning or afternoon or evening, depending on where you are in the world right now. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Okay, bye bye.